just like this one. So let's get started. As you can see, I've started off with a really light sketch here, and I'm going to show you exactly how I made this sketch by tracing over it. The reason I started off this way is to save time. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and trace this line for the shark's back. The line's going to begin at the nose and then continue all the way up to the end of the tail fin. The next thing I'm going to do is go underneath. And trace another line. Underneath the mouth all the way back to this fin on the side where I'm going to leave a little bit of space. Then I'm going to continue on the other side. And then follow the line on out to the bottom part of the tail. Now I'm just going to come up here and finish this tail outline. You'll notice that with the tiger shark, the top of the tail fin is a lot longer than the bottom. And now I'm going to go back over to the front end. And right here, I'm going to draw a line for the snout. Most sharks have pointed noses. The tiger shark has a nose that's kind of squared off in the front. And I'll just bring that line back underneath like this. And now I'm going to go to the pectoral fin. The pectoral fins are these triangle shaped fins that come off the side of the shark's body. They help keep the shark stable in the water, sort of like airplane wings, give them some lift. So that's the first pectoral fin. Now I'll come over to the other side here. To show that there's also one on the other side of his body. Next, I'm going to add the dorsal fin, which is that fin that comes up from the back. With the tiger shark, they're just kind of slightly rounded at the top, with a little notch down here. And we have a second but smaller fin closer to the tail, the top of the shark's body here. And then another really similar fin underneath. And just in between this fin and the pectoral fins is a pair of small fins right about here. The next thing I'm going to do is add this line right here. which continues up to this part of the tail, another part of the shark's body that helps stabilize it. And now for the mouth. For this drawing, the mouth isn't open all that wide. but it will be wide enough to show the most important part, which is the teeth. Just 
just clean that up a little bit. Most uh, sharks have a lot of really different sized teeth, especially when you compare the top to the bottom of the mouth. But with the tiger shark, they're all a really similar shape and size. Basically triangles with really rough edges. Next, I'm gonna add the nostrils underneath. Sharks have a really good sense of smell. And with the tiger shark, there's also a little flap of skin near each nostril. to help it detect its prey when it's swimming close to the bottom. And then I'm going to draw this oval shape for the eye right here. Part of it is really dark on the inside, the iris, kind of like a great whites. And then the around the edge is lighter. And now between the mouth and the pectoral fin, I'm going to add five gills. And after that, I'm going to just go ahead and draw this line that separates the white underbelly from the grayish or brownish pattern on the side and back of the shark. And so that is our basic sketch of the tiger shark. Let's take another look at the finished one. So what I've done here is I've left the belly white and anything up above this jagged line I've, co I've colored much darker. I used a black colored pencil. If you color it light enough, it leaves it more of a grayish. And then on each one of these stripes, uh, which is what gives the tiger shark its name, I've colored those in much darker. And you can see they sort of fade as they go out towards the tail. And to show kind of a shadow beneath, I've colored uh, these fins a bit darker. And you can see in the water also, I've used a lighter color to show the more brightly lit water at the surface, along with uh, some darker colors where there's not as much light in the deeper part. So that's our tiger shark. Thanks for watching.